Dr. Bertha Ayi, thank you for joining me for a synopsis of Word of Inspiration for Tuesday, December 12, 2017. Today's message was entitled, Work the Vision Part 2. My text was taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 25. Over there, we realized that a certain man was going on a journey, and the Bible says he took talent and gave it to three of his servants. He gave one person five talents, the other person two talents, the other one one, according to their several abilities. And he left them to see what they would do with his talents. What is the essence of the message? It was to let you know that God is the master in this particular story. He has a big global strategy for the world. And at this defined point in time, you are here on earth to serve your generation based on talents that he has given to you. Are you going to be like the one who had five talents and chose to work hard, trade and get five more talents? Or the one who had two? Or the one who hid his talent? What was the difference? The first two had a plan, which is the subject of my discussion. Work the vision. And you work it with the plan. I suppose the first two, as soon as they received their talents, they came up with a plan. Okay, let's draw up a business strategy for trade. They were able to get five more and two more respectively. This other person decided, one, my master is a hard man. He reaps where he hasn't sown. I am afraid. That's what he said. He said, I was afraid. And I went and dug a hole and hid the talent. So I talk about the steps that you need to take in developing a plan for your life. First of all, you come up with a 20 or 10 year plan. Have a visual of where you want to be. If you want to go to an extreme, you do like I did. I actually went to Hobby Lobby and bought these miniature items to draw and capture the vision of where I want to be in 20 years. And I filmed it and I kept it. So I look at it. And I know that this is where I want to be. But for at a minimum, get a notebook and write down your plan. Write down where you want to be. And then each year, for example, we're going to start 2018. Get an annual plan. Just give it a theme. This is the year I'll do X, Y, Z as part of my big vision. And then identify areas of your life that you feel tie into this vision. Or better still, get a global plan for your life. Get a heading for spiritual goals. Get a heading for your physical goals, financial goals, social goals. Set one for how you want your home to look, how you want to be as a wife or a mother, or your goals for your children. You might come up with 10 different things. So put this on the top of a page and dedicate about three pages for each area of your life. Because the next thing you're going to do, you're going to list seven things for each area of your life. The first one is your goal. What do you want to achieve? So let's say your physical. You might say, I want to gain or lose weight up to 160 pounds. The goal has to be smart, meaning very specific. 160 pounds is very specific. You can never be more specific than that. And then you decide on, is it measurable? Yes, you can measure 160 pounds. You just get on a scale. Is it attainable? If you weigh 400 pounds, 160 pounds is not an attainable goal within a year. You would fall flat on your face and get discouraged. Then it has to be realistic. You need to be able to achieve it in a year. And then it has to be time focused. So you set a one-year goal for your weight. For example, that's just an example. Set your goal. That's the first one. Then find objectives. What am I hoping to achieve by this goal? List your objectives. And then... The very part that I think is very important, the steps that you are going to take, this is what turns your vision into a daily mission. What am I going to do every day? One, it could be I'm going to go to the gym for 15 minutes. I would run for 30 minutes. I would eat less. I would eat only greens. Do something like that. Those are the steps. The next thing is to identify obstacles. And then look for advantages or benefits for these goals that you have set. Finally, or last but one, find a verse to support your goal. And then lastly, have a plan to review it. All these will take about three pages for each specific goal you set. So plan on using about 20 pages of a notebook. Keep this notebook and do it every year.
So today, that's what I want to share with you. Tomorrow, we'll look at Work Your Vision Part 3, <clears throat> and I will talk about how to identify your obstacles and how to review your plan. But by all means, work the vision. Thank you for joining me. This is Dr. Bertha. I say this up to me. God has a plan for my life, and he knew it before I was born. I will not die. I will live to fulfill my purpose. That is why I'm a winner. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above and never beneath. I have potential. I have the power. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. God bless you. Please join me tomorrow.